School. I'm Louis from Pentestalab. Today's video may be a bit unexpected. We are going to talk about why you may want to think twice before starting a bug bounty program. Now, before you jump to conclusions, let me clarify something. Bug bounty programs can be an incredibly valuable part of your AppSec strategy. However, they are not always the best solution for every organization or at every point in time. So let's get into it and discuss some reasons you may want to hold off on starting a bug bounty program. Program. Reason number one, are you considering a bug bounty program as a magic solution for cheap or free labor to save on your pen test budget? If so, I will advise you to reconsider. While bug bounty can help uncover vulnerabilities, they are not a simple exchange of kudos or internet points for bugs. The process requires a significant amount of planning, time, and attention, especially if you are a large organization like a Fortune 500 company. Misconceptions about the nature and purpose of bug bounty programs can lead to unpleasant surprises down the line. Now, let's jump to reason number two. It's about resourcing. Running a bug bounty program requires a dedicated team of people, appropriate technology, and a lot of time. A bug bounty platform like Bugcrab, HackerOne, Integrity, or Yes We Hack can help with triaging the vulnerabilities, but that's just the first step. You still have a journey ahead from managing the confirmed bug to getting them fixed all the way to production. Don't underestimate the amount of work and coordination needed to successfully run a program like this. And while giving direct access to developers may seem like a shortcut, Remember, not all companies have found success with this strategy. Moving on to reason number three. You are planning to manage everything internal. I've seen what happens when an internal bug bounty program goes sideways, and it's not pretty. Thinking platforms are too costly and assuming you can manage everything yourself may lead to an uncomfortable reality check. Trust me when I say that setting up the right process internally without using a bug bounty platform is a challenge. Plus, you will have to deal with the high noise to signal ratio yourself, which bug bounty platforms usually take care of. Reason number four, you believe a bug bounty program can entirely replace your pen test activity. Here is the thing, a bug bounty program primarily relies on external researcher. What happens if they lose interest or find another program that is more lucrative? You risk losing crucial coverage in contrast. Pen testing is a structured approach that ensures your entire application landscape is covered, irrespective of the interest of external researchers. Reason number five, are you planning your bug bounty in isolation? If you start a bug bounty program without coordinating with other teams, you may end up with a wave of automated scan unexpectedly knocking at the doors, potentially disrupting other teams' work. It's crucial to involve all the relevant teams, engineering, support, legal, and others, to ensure a smooth and coordinated launch. While you are at it, don't forget to inform any SaaS provider or companies that are leveraging a subdomain of your main domain. Reason number six, if you're having a hard time addressing the bugs identified by your AppSec team, a bug bounty program may compound the problem. Remember, researchers are not only interested in finding bugs, they also want to see them get fixed. Having clear rules and service level agreements, SLAs, in place to address vulnerabilities is crucial before you start inviting more reports from bug bounty researchers. Lastly, seven, you're not ready. If you don't have a clear scope defined or haven't considered how to handle reports outside the set scope, you may need to do some more groundwork before launching a program. Also, make sure you have processes in place to effectively manage the reports and coordinate fixes. In conclusion, remember these points aren't reason to entirely avoid bug bounty programs, but rather things you should carefully consider and plan for before you start one. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. As always, stay curious and keep learning.